Hi traders, it's Anthony here. We're having a look at gold. I've just shorted this on uh, my live account. These two yellow lines here, I've pulled these through off the daily chart. So if you open up a, a, the daily, you'll see that these are a significant level of uh, resistance. This one up top, there's multiple multiple touches on this level here. And this one down here goes back a little bit further. It's a it's a daily uh, a, a daily pivot. This is quite a significant level given the amount of times the market has uh, visited this this range historically. I'm treating this as a level where there's liquidity resting liquidity, and we could get a pullback. So I'm going for a counter trend trade now. If we have a look at this on the hourly chart, just notice a couple of things here. Have a look, see this cloud under and these two parallel lines. All right, well, generally, when the market moves away, we tend to get a pullback down into down into this, this parallel channel or down to at least this, this top line here. So we can see we've got a, a touch here. This one didn't quite make it, but, you know, it's heading back, narrowing the gap between here and here. So at the moment, this is fairly extended if we to, were to uh, pull this further, okay? We do have room here for a pullback. The other thing we've got is a double top, or triple top actually. This, And the other thing to note is, see this red dot? This is coming off our pin bar pivots indicator. Every time we get one of these, we generally see some kind of a trade out of it. All right, so we can see clearly here, and, and the, this red dot tells us that this move here is overextended. All right, so we had a trade from this one, we had a trade from this one. In fact, you know, any of these going the other way. Okay, in a strong trend, we still tend to get something out of it when we see one of these alerts or signals. So I'm thinking uh, we get a little bit out of this. So what I'm looking for is... Uh, Oh, actually, and there's another thing here too to note. Just notice the divergence. Very strong bearish divergence here. So we're getting higher highs here, lower lows. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those of you into Elliott Wave, we could possibly consider <coughs> a bit of a five wave move and this move here, an ABC correction. I'm always looking for uh, at the end of a five wave move, you know, some kind of consolidation and <clears throat> retrace. So we had push one, retrace two, three, four, five, and then generally a one, two, three, although this is pushed up quite a bit. Anyway, big resistance level, triple top. Let's go down to the 15 minute chart. I've already shorted this. All right, so what I'm looking for, given its counter trend, is uh, if I grab my Fibonacci and go from swing low here. Generally, in a trend like this, when I'm playing the counter trend, I'm going to look to take profit fairly early. And that's why I've colored these a different color than these three. So this is my counter trend TP levels. All right, so I'll generally go TP1, TP2. In terms of a trend trade, uh, looking to to um, go long, I'd be wanting to see a pullback down into these levels here. I'll look to do a partial close here of this position, and I'll leave some of it on to see if we get a bit more out of it. All right, and then I'll be looking for possibility to to go long here. Just depends on the fundamentals and what's going on with the US dollar and what have you. We've got NFP today, so. That could stir things up a bit. Uh, but okay, so a consideration, a possibility, you know, like these pullbacks down into 50 to the 786 Fib zone, keeping an eye out for possibility to uh, buy. Uh, or we could get a deeper pullback. I think the markets are due. Consider the stock markets, how over inflated they are. I really do get a sense at the moment that the markets are really on the edge of um, a correction, the stock markets. And we've also got the COVID thing. I mean, that could have a negative effect on, on uh, gold as well. Be careful with this. 
In any case, I'm just going to go for a short and I'll leave partial position open and see if we can get a bit more mileage out of it at this point. And here's another thing. We're still getting our divergence, bearish divergence with this. And again, every time we get one of these dots, we usually get something out of it. Well, that's my take. So trade safe and I'll see you in the next video.